When others out of jealousy or anger harm me or insult me, may I take defeat upon myself and offer them the victory. So, um, this um, basically outlines a practice we call um, accepting defeat and offering the victory. Now, without explanation, this verse basically sounds like um, how to become a doormat 101. <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, kind of like. The, 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 the quick and easy way, how to become a doormat. And actually, I wish it was that easy. It's actually much uh, more profound. It, um, it involves um, developing quite a, a, a noble and altruistic mind. And in fact, becoming a bodhisattva. As you may know, bodhisattva, Sanskrit word, bodhi, means enlightenment, sattva means being. And bodhisattva is a person um, who is heading towards enlightenment, who has not yet become enlightened, but is heading towards enlightenment. So, really, to um, engage in this practice of what we call accepting defeat and offering the victory, um, we need to imagine ourselves as bodhisattvas. This is Geshe-la's um, essential advice to us. You know, don't imagine yourself as um, uh, just a stressed out person who's trying this out because you don't really have much choice. We, we, we don't approach it from that point of view. Imagine that you're a bodhisattva. Imagine that you're a person who's heading towards enlightenment. And okay, you may be stressed out, you may be angry, and you may be whatever, you know, the fact that we're heading towards enlightenment doesn't mean that we don't get angry from time to time or we don't get stressed out from time to time. But we need to imagine ourselves as heading towards enlightenment. Okay, we might, um, we're, we're probably not a, a real bodhisattva, but um, we need to imagine ourselves as one. You know, Geshe is very clear about this. He says, you know, we need to imagine ourselves as one. Why? Because essentially we are part of the Kadampa family. And the Kadampa family is a Bodhisattva family. So we need to imagine we are Bodhisattvas. We need to imagine we are heading towards enlightenment not with a self-centered motivation, not for ourselves. We are doing it for the sake of others. We are doing it to bring happiness to the world we live in. We want to become enlightened in order to help people. So really do imagine that you are heading towards enlightenment. And imagining yourself like this, you know, changing your self-concept, then try and practice this. When others out of jealousy or anger harm me or insult me, may I take defeat upon myself and offer them the victory. <laughs> so, okay, and what we're going to look at, accepting defeat and offering the victory. And essentially, Accepting defeat basically means we accept um, problems, difficulties, and suffering with a mind of patience. You know, we patiently accept, we happily accept um, difficult things, whether, whether we are sick or whether um, our plans fall apart 
or, 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 or whether somebody criticizes us or whether um, we, we end up um, stranded in the rain whatever it is we just happily accept so this is what the meaning of the phrase definitely um, sorry accepting defeat means happily accepting these things rather than resisting them rather than getting angry with them rather than fighting against them we like happily accepting them so accepting defeat and then offering the victory what are we talking about here with offering the victory we're talking about um giving love well giving others happiness offering the victory giving others happiness and in particular we're talking about the practice of love wishing happiness upon others so in our daily activities really this is our our main practice we happily accept the problems and sufferings we encounter and we offer um, happiness upon others so mentally we, we wish happiness upon others 